After a mild start to winter in Kelowna, a sudden drop in temperatures has exposed the harsh realities of living homeless. A little bit chilly, but not too bad. I'm pretty well equipped with my space. With no available shelter space, people are living at this encampment along the rail trail. It's where Erica Stewart and Blake Mercury have made their homes. Yeah, absolutely. Would I like to be in a better situation where I feel safe and I can lock a door and, you know, not be in the elements? Of course. That, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah. Stewart's home is made out of tents and insulated tarps held up by a large beach umbrella. It's a shelter from both the blistering summer heat and now... This is my heater here. ...freezing temperatures and snow. I keep uh, some of my perishable food items up in the rafters, <laughs> we'll say, um, just to keep them away from any animals or um, rodents mostly that um, get into everything. <laughs> the city says there's an estimated 220 people sheltering outdoors here at this encampment. That's twice the number of people that were here last year. Now, the city is putting in three warming buses later this week as temperatures are expected to plunge. And then in February, there's going to be a tiny home village that will be put in this lot. But it won't be in place for this next cold front that is coming in this month. As the mercury drops, the risk of tent fires goes up as people here try to keep warm. Michael McEwen says he lost all his belongings when his structure burned to the ground just days ago. I was down at the other end and I seen smoke and light and came running back and this is what I got left. Even if shelter space were to open up, some are reluctant to leave the community they've built here. Absolutely, I felt more of a sense of family down here with all these folks than I have with my own blood relatives. You know, like it really is a community thing. As the cold snap approaches, they're preparing to hunker down together. This is where I feel happier and what's better for me. And I'm sort of choosing that, I guess. Sharing what heat and shelter they do have with each other. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Kelowna.